I thought they both, on um, all three phases, they played hard. They played tough. Um, just like I've said uh, before in the press conference, I thought uh, our kids had a very difficult, hardcore get after at training camp. I thought they had a tough summer and uh, they improved. Uh, are we anywhere where we need to be? No, we're not. Uh, we've got a long way to go, but uh, I thought tonight they made a step in the right direction. Uh, there was a ton of mistakes out there, There's, uh, but uh, there was a lot of positive too. Questions? Darius gets out there for the first time in almost two years. Seeing him live tonight, were you happy for him that he got this opportunity again? Super happy for him. It was a tough situation all week. It's been a tough situation the entire training camp. and. Uh, they uh, both Grant and uh, Darius both handled it like a rock star, and um, I was happy for both of them to be able to get in there and get some experience. Like I said at the very beginning, hopefully we'll need all three. And uh, um, tonight we had two, and uh, I thought the two played uh, decent. Uh, there was uh, obviously a lot to correct on the tape. We have a long way to go, but um, you know, for for a guy that hasn't played in a year. Not bad. And Grant did some great things. I'm telling you, Grant Loy has, uh, has really, really improved. And uh, he's got a long way to go also, but I'm happy that he was able to go in there and have some success too. During camp, obviously, Darius was kind of out of rhythm. He looked clunky at times. And today, for the most part, I felt like he had good timing with his receivers. It didn't look really anything like he looked. There was times that uh, that he looked on rhythm. Uh, there was times that he did not. Still, um, there was a, believe it or not, there was a, some missed opportunities there that uh, that he had some big big play potential. That uh, his footwork was wrong, his body position was wrong, and when you start playing super super great defenses, and your body's not in perfect body position upon delivery, you're not making that throw because you're going to take a massive hit. And if your body's out of out of whack and your weight transition isn't good enough and you're on poor rhythm, so we got some work to do. You know, we got some big time opponents coming up, and uh, for the quarterback to be able to play right or and play effective and efficient, technique is everything. Coach Robert Page from uh, It's All About Sports out of Camden, New Jersey. Uh, true freshman Jawan Howard, um, Jawan Hudson. I'm sorry, I do on the field for you tonight. Uh, uh, look, he has some outstanding play. What do you think by his name tonight? I think he's going to be a really good football player. We've got a y bunch of young guys out there right now. Uh, we're going to take some lumps uh, just because of how much youth is out there. But uh, for the first time, a uh, freshman corner trotting out there, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's just like a quarterback. You're on an island. You're by yourself. Everyone knows when you make a mistake. He's a very mature young man. He's a great kid. He's got great speed. He needs to learn a lot, like any freshman would. But uh, he did a nice job this season. I know you have a lot you still want to work on, but to come in in such a short time and change a lot, what does this win mean to you, the staff, and the guys in that locker room? Well, um, we're going to go back and do business as usual. You know, we're going to um, our whole thing is 100% concentration on just that play. This is over. Um, there's a lot to learn from, so what we'll do is we'll come in here, we'll learn, uh, we'll take, uh, we'll take uh, the mistakes that we made and we'll improve on them and uh, just continue to work and put this one tonight and get ready to go play Kansas State. A lot of coaches see the first win as a validation of your offseason. Is that how you kind of view this win? Kevin Tolbert. Kevin Tolbert did a remarkable job, and Danny, our trainer, did a remarkable job. And just like I said, this camp was not easy whatsoever. I know a lot of you were around it. It was intense. It was pretty, pretty tough camp, and it'll always be tough around here. I and mean, that's the way we're going to do business. But uh, um, yeah, Kevin Tolbert did a great job, along with Danny. It was before the game. It was like a Michigan reunion out there. What was it like seeing Wheatley and Alexander? And there's a lot of Michigan guys on both sides. The coolest thing I think about college football, hands down, is uh, when you see guys that you, I haven't talked to Derek in 10 years, and uh, whenever you see guys that you played with, that you uh, uh, went to school with, um, it doesn't matter. You're right back to where you were at. And that's the greatest thing about college football is relationships. And uh, I think uh, the minute that as a coach we start you know, just worrying about wins. We got to win. I got it. But there's a hell of a lot more than just winning. You know, it's about getting these guys ready to be great fathers, great husbands, and their best friends ever will come out of 
you know, their, their college team. When you scream something, you ever hear Boyd's voice come out of your mouth? Or, or I heard or... Steve Adazio this tonight because I made the dumbest. I, I, didn't, I didn't play complimentary football um, at all um, right before half. That was, that, we should have had a shutout tonight, and that was because of my error, period end. Uh, we, we, we busted a pin pull scheme, came back with an inside zone, and I, we got greedy. I should have thrown a controlled pass, tried to take a shot, and uh, I heard Steve in the back of the head. My, <laughs> I heard him <laughs> protect the damn defense. So, um, And I didn't. That uh, was a mistake. And just like the players, there's a bunch of things as coaches we need to improve, and we'll do that. Uh, one, kind of how much was it a point of emphasis? And two, how pleased were you with the balance on offense? I think Darius completed passes with seven receivers in the first quarter. Obviously, Bryson, Davon, and Andrew all getting touches as well. So yeah, we want to be as balanced as we can, use every ounce of talent that we have, and we're going to have to. You know, we got to spread it around, we got to be balanced. And uh, besides that uh, error before half, we played complementary football, and we got to do that. I mean, I think we had, what, a couple 12, 13, 14 play drives, and um, Any time that you go three and out, you're putting your defense in a really, really tough bind. If they're having to play nine, I think we had 52 plays at half. And uh, any time that uh, we can stay on the field and keep our defense off the field, that's complimentary football. It's not going to change. That's just what we believe. You have 70 total yards, but you plus territory three times in the first half. See, that's a good first step for that unit. Yeah, and just like I said, very similar to the offense. We we got work on both sides. Uh, we had a couple debacles on our side, the defensive side, and special teams. And <clears throat> you know, whenever you're playing those games where the talent is equal, or they have greater talent, uh, everything matters. So we need to uh, show the kids that uh, you know that all their hard work is great. We uh, we had some success, but uh, every single day in our program, we got to take steps to improve. For these older guys, they're used to walking off this field last year, not happy, not cheering. What do you think a win to start off the season does for them? Um, I really like our older guys. They've been through a bunch. And David Cano's, you know, it's, that's one. I mean, I can go to story after story after story with these kids. And, um, you know, just watching them go from doing 185 four times to doing 225 19 times, I mean, there's some dedication uh, from those kids, and uh, they all know it. We're not, we're, we're nowhere where we need to be, but we're gonna just keep uh, chopping wood and keep pushing that rock and see if we can push it over the hill someday. I know it's a marathon, but is it nice to have the first one out of the way as a head coach? Excuse me. I know it's a marathon, but is it nice to have the first one out of the way as a head coach? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't. You're building toward this day. You know what? To be quite honest with you, it was uh, doing it the, as long as our staff and myself has done it. I was more excited. There was it, this was about our kids. Period. And, and the older I've got, and uh, and I'm hoping that it continues in that direction. The minute that we think it's about us, it's a player's game. Period. And it's our job to mentor them, it's our job to improve, make them better. But to be, I was fired up for the kids and it's what we do and as a staff, it's how we do business. And, uh, but uh, so to say that I was excited for myself, not even a little bit, it was all about our kids. You mentioned the kids still need to make improvement on your side of the ball. You mentioned the mistake you felt you made. But I mean, was this pretty much best case scenario for you guys to start the season with where you started at? We were just worrying about 100% concentration on just that snap. So the results, you know, I, I said to our kids, it doesn't matter if we're down 14, uh, up 21, that's going to be our mindset. It's going to be the process, 100% focus on just doing our job. And um, we were able to make more plays than them.